Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments, guys. I was mentioning um, in a few of the other reads, I forgot to mention it in some, but I have a watermark, an authentication mark, a check mark on my channel. If you do not see those things, guys, it is not my channel. There are a lot of duplicators out there and copycats, guys, stealing my channel, my channel name, pretending to be me. It's not me. I will never contact you for telling you to contact me, email me, text me, WhatsApp me. I don't do any of that, guys. It'll never be me. So if the channel does not have the little watermark on the bottom right-hand corner, it's not me and my channel will have my name will have a tick mark beside it i've been authenticated through youtube for that reason so guys anything other than that is not me it's an imposter in the last collective read i was picking up on an out of control child or something like that having problems with a child, very antagonistic energy. Mm. It could be a lazy child. Hmm. Could be someone hot and cold. Oh, jeez. Well, their mother is a drama queen. No wonder. Hmm. I don't know. This mother could... Abandon a child. There could be a power struggle going on between your person and the karmic and this child. Mm. Someone is being seen as a tyrant, cruel and oppressive. Hmm. I don't know the children. The mother is always on the phone. Intimidates. Could have underlying health issues. The child could have underlying health issues. Because the mom could be burnt out or something like that. This person wants you back. So there's some problem with um, money. Underlying health issues. This karmic is always like... Can't turn off their work. A child could be a liar, okay? Telling stories about, I don't know. The mother could be calling the child the liar. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. They're always talking on the phone. They're always on their computer. They're always out. <sighs> They're ignoring, rejecting this child. The child may have learned to become a liar because their mother is really difficult to please. What? Oh my Lord. So there could be different skin colors of the children. Or different fathers. 
And quite honestly, this is like a broken record. The child hears this over and over again, fighting, arguing, racist comments. Maybe their own mother is like comparing the children or something like that. They just are all about how they look, how they appear. Irresponsible, careless, unreliable. So, holy Christ. So they're having financial difficulties. This is a big spender over here. This diva got to have all the fanciest clothes, shop. They always got a shopping bag. Oh, look at me. I'm so fancy. We have unconditional love. But the meantime, the tower is crashing. The children are being neglected. They're very careless, irresponsible parenting going on here. They're prejudiced and they're antagonistic. So like I said, one of these children might have a different skin color, is getting teased and <coughs> bullied and people could be being prejudiced against this child. The child feels like Your person is cursing themselves. They made a bad decision and they regret it. Clean out the trash. It's like... This child feels like they're not even in the picture anymore. That they've just been cancelled out of... Like, people don't consider the views of the children in relationships like this. It's all about me. It's all about me. And everyone seems to forget about the kids. This person can't get you out of their mind. This karmic is a blood sucker and draining the lifeblood. Well, if they're a narcissist, and that came up in the last collective read, that this um, particular third party or karmic, call it what you want, doesn't matter. They are a, a narcissist. It's all about them. They, it's always the kid's fault. It's always someone else's fault. If you've ever lived with a narcissist, you know what I'm talking about. So not only does this person curse themselves, but these children are caught in the crossfire. If you've ever been raised in a narcissistic household, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this one is extreme. This child feels like their mother doesn't care less and that the father doesn't care less. The child feels like they're just being used to clean the house, okay? That they're trash somehow. This 
child could have like injections. These could be Ritalin. This could be like, I don't know, maybe the mother is using drugs to control this child. This child is out of control. It's because they're not parenting. They're too busy shopping, scamming, doing whatever. Just overindulgent. Homelessness. This child feels like they don't even belong, that they don't have a home. They're thinking they're better off being homeless. <laughs> I don't know. Heavy burdens. The smooth talker got clickbait. They were easily led like sheep. Karmic is insecure, intimidated by you. There's too many differences. One thing is not like the other. There is behavioral issues that either the mother has, which then could be passed down to the children. Big egos getting in the way. Antagonistic behavior. It's like... out of this world somebody could be getting high and crazy all the time no ah. somebody could be going through lawyer problems somebody's under the influence is high all the time it's just stupid Even the dog feels abandoned, <laughs> betrayed, controlled. Evil eye. Snooping. Smoke and near act. Just an illusion. Trying to finesse everybody. What? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Naive financially. Someone just wants to cut the ties and escape. Wants to run away from their problems. And if there is a child involved, Anybody who grows up with a narcissistic parent, uh, fortunately for me, I never had to experience that. But I know many people who did, and I can assure you that when you, that is harsh for a child, the child usually grows up, you know, going through a lot of drug problems. The child usually goes through homelessness, running away, getting involved with drugs, alcohol, bad crowds, trying to do things to fit in because they never got the acceptance from one parent or the other. And in this sake situation, the karmic is all about them, how they appear, what they have, what's in their life. That's a narcissistic individual. Not every third party is like that, I can assure you. So don't come on here and go, I don't do that. I'm reading for the ones that are going through that. The 
karmic me have this child under medication like trying to control them because they're out of control uh well there's something they're crazy they need drugs they're out of control it's because of a lack of parenting not because of the children They are narcissists. They're really critical. They are judgmental. They are... They're a racist toward their own kids. If one has lighter skin than the other, then they're being racist. Oh, you're just like your father. There could be a couple of baby daddies here. The poor kids is the one caught. This kid could be experimenting with drugs, hallucinogenics, or medications. There could be a couple of kids that are the ones, the true victims of this story. There could have been a trip to the hospital An ER visit. Some kind of sickness or health issue. Underlying health issues that are being neglected. Denial. Or someone is refusing to take treatments for their illness. This is homelessness. I think the the child just feel like they don't exist. They just feel like I'd be better off homeless. They could run away. is a runaway child or a child is a coming in between their relationship and but what they don't realize is that this child is going to run away from home they're sad they're depressed I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they feel pulled in every direction. There's People vying for control or something. Like I said, maybe this kid is getting bullied. Maybe they want to run away. Maybe they're experimenting with drugs. Maybe they're getting involved with gangs. Maybe there's fighting and arguing all the time in the home. Maybe they want to run away. 
They're depressed. They're lonely. Maybe they're left home alone and I don't know. It's poor parenting and poor judgment here. Hmm. Partying, sex, you know what I mean? Somebody could make a decision to report them to the authorities. They could be starting to get into legal trouble. It's neglect. I'm sorry. It's rejection. It's like someone could be standing up for this child. I don't know how many baby daddies are involved, but someone might be saying, what are you going to wait till they commit suicide? Or are you going to get an intervention done here? Maybe this child is like suicidal, okay? Keeping it quiet. They feel trapped. That's the real victims of this story. I don't care about your person. I don't care about who they're with. Um, those are the real victims here in this situation is the children. Mom's always working, texting, talking, going out, doing things. I don't know. Something's got to change. Rapid change. I don't know. I think the mom is emotionally cold. The mother might be taking medication. The mother might be giving medication to the children. I don't know. Trying to do something for attention or something. Oh, they're just trying to get attention. That's a narcissist. I'm sorry it is. They are an, a violent narcissist. They pretend that they're very loving and they give these kids lots of attention, but they're not. They're a narcissist. They're violent, aggressive, controlling, manipulative. It's all about appearance and how they look to everyone else. It's a nightmare. This King of Wands is in a nightmare. <laughs> They're heavily burdened. They could be drinking heavily. Like, that's what I mean about, I don't feel sorry for this person. They can get up and they can leave any time that they want. Nobody is keeping them there. Nobody is imprisoning them there. They have two legs. They can get up and they can walk out. This feminine can get up and walk out. But it is the children. If I'm praying for anybody, it'd be these kids involved. Addictions. Toxic. Hmm. 
Hmm. You're a leader. This person is thinking about how fun you were, how playful you were. There was laughter, there was humor. You took control, you were a leader, but you weren't a narcissist. You're modest. You know, you're exciting. You're adventurous. You're honest, you're sincere, you're grounded, you're loving, you're nurturing. And it's like this person keeps thinking I should just cut out why are they holding on And they're wishing for you. You were very independent. You were very nurturing. You were very self-reliant. You have healing abilities and qualities about you. Um, it's very unstable where they are. Could be the karmic who is stealing from this person and blaming the kid. I don't know. They're unstable. Hmm. This person, see? They're playing on the kid's emotions. The kid is emotionally wounded by whatever. Your person is getting emotionally wounded. This person is still in love with you. That's who's getting hurt in this situation. This is emotional damage being caused to a child. And maybe the child themselves. Is it going to call themselves and report this situation? I don't know. I have no sympathy for the adults in this story whatsoever. Absolutely none. If you are not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I don't feel sorry for either one of these individuals. The kids getting bullied at school. You can't sit with us. You got a different skin color. You can't sit with us. They have no clue how the children are getting affected. You can't sit with us. They're getting rejected at school. They're getting rejected at home. Oh my God. They feel abnormal. They feel different. I don't know, maybe their mother has a reputation, maybe their father has a reputation. It's the child who feels rejected. Especially if these are small ones and they're school age. 
They are not responsible for what their parents do, but who the hell is helping them? Power struggling. There's some kind of underlying health issue that's going on. Yeah, when you have multiple babies, a multiple <sighs> they don't fit in. And people who have low self esteem and low self worth and low value opinion of themselves, they're easily led. That's the legacy you pass down to your children when you're not healthy yourself. You pass that legacy down to your children and then they repeat it with their kids and they're busy thinking they're the divine feminine when they're the blood sucker. person got in way too deep and they feel there is no way out. That's what happens when you fall for clickbait, you know? Just because it looks good on the outside don't mean it is on the inside. That's their karma. But I'm telling you right now, they better look after those kids. Because you're going to have some kids who start running away from home, start dabbling in drugs and alcohol, and getting involved with street gangs. They can sit there in regret and shame and guilt all they want. Look after the kids. Do your job, moms and dads. <laughs> Pretending they're this big happy family when all this shit's going on <clears throat> on the inside of their homes. That's why it's going to end in a huge ass tower one way or another. It'll either be the law stepping in, other people stepping in, family members stepping in, schools stepping in, authorities stepping in. cycles of whatever they are. Somebody could be uh, watching this um, baby mama from afar. It could be a private investigator. Somebody doesn't trust them. And I don't know if it's your person or not, but there is someone 
in the community that does not trust this parent. Take care.